and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the best players at each position. Now, this is going to be your typical version where I just go through and give you the best overall guys at each position. You guys already know I don't like to do that. I'm going to give you guys who I think, who I've tried, who I think are the best players at each position. And not just because they're the highest overall. Also, because you want those guys. Like, I, like I've been saying, right? When you compare a guy like maybe, let's say Denzel Ward to... Patrick Peterson, right? Denzel Ward at the moment is way faster, has much more athleticism. You might think maybe he's better because he's higher overall and everything, but then you got to look at it deeper and realize that, wait, Patrick Peterson might get more upgrades throughout the year than Denzel Ward. Let's just say, right? That's just an example. Those aren't the exact, that's not the best example. I can't exactly think right now, but you know those players, right? Like Ed Tall Jones versus maybe Cameron Jordan who might get more upgrades. So I'm going to go over the best players in each position that you want to get, the ones that you can hold on to safely. I don't like to just recommend guys that are top overalls that I know aren't going to be worthwhile for the year-long run. And also, doing this, I'm also going to give you guys in-depth like insight on each position and what I'm looking for there. So you guys have an idea of what to look for at those positions, not just the guy with certain speed or certain excel, you know what I'm saying? But before we get into the video real quick, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys, turn on that noti bell, come join the family, boys. I got the haircut, you guys have been waiting for it, so hit that subscribe button if you're new, come join the family. Comment down below. Uh, if you have any feedback on what I say, comment down below. I want to see what you guys think or where you guys might argue at a quarterback, a running back, or so on and so forth position. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Now, I'm rushing this intro a little bit. I might talk a little faster right now because it's, it's going to be a long video, so I want to get into it as quickly as possible. So, we're going to head over to the auction block. I'm going to go show you guys one by one in each position. Now, if you guys have watched a video like this, I haven't done one in a while, but this is typically how I run it. The easiest way to do it. So, for the quarterback position... Guys, it's not even in the 92s to 93s right now, price-wise. Remember, I include price in this. I do include price, guys, so don't murder me, but price is important. I'm big on that. So don't comment down below, oh, he's a uh, limited time Michael Vick is better. Yeah, I bet he is better, but not, that's not. this is for the community, right? Not everyone can afford those things. So starting off at quarterback, the two best options for me right now, in my personal opinion, is going to be still Steve Young as one of the options. Because, guys, right now, what you need in a quarterback is accuracy and escape artists. And we don't, the only guy who has accuracy and escape artists are two guys, Andrew Luck and Steve Young. But Andrew Luck is a limited time card. He's too expensive. So I think Andrew Luck might be the best quarterback in the game. But if you can't afford Andrew Luck, Steve Young is the, like, the community option. So in my opinion, you want to go Steve Young or Andrew Luck. Why do I have Lamar Jackson? Because I already have him, and now I'm waiting. You know, I think a new quarterback is coming soon, guys. Best advice I can give you would be to maybe wait on the quarterback for a little bit but if you want one right now steve young or andrew luck are the best options now me personally i like andrew luck more but steve young is so cheap you could power him up but for under like maybe 250k altogether he can get escape artists and then powered up and kept up and hit so many passing thresholds probably the best quarterback in the game overall when it comes to what we're looking for right now now at the running back position guys in my opinion it's still saquon barkley you guys can argue that all you want this Saquon plays ridiculous for me. He doesn't feel crazy fast, which is kind of weird, but it also could be because people have gotten a lot faster on defense. This Saquon Barkley card is still a monster. Now, obviously, I think a new running back like Barry Sanders will come out soon and he'll overshadow him. But for the time being, I still love the Saquon. Guys, my Saquon fully powered up and chemmed up. You can't see it here. On my team, he is a beast. Fully powered up and chemmed up. Trust me. And that break tackle is huge. It got up to like a 96 for me. I'm telling you that break tackle, he's pinball. I still love Saquon Barkley. That's my option. And he's cheap enough. And you can get him for free from the house rules or the solo challenges. That's why he's got to be up there, right? Price matters. You guys can say limited time Bo Jackson, whatever you want. He was free for me. He could be free for all of you guys if you so choose to be. Now, fullback. Obviously, it's going to be the Nigerian. What was his name? The Nigerian monster. I forgot what, what his nickname is. But Christian Okoye. Best will back in the game, hands down. A budgety option will be Corey Schlesinger, although he might not be that cheap anymore because he's a theme diamond that's kind of rare to get at this point because people aren't doing it. Now, he has 88 speed, 90 strength, 88 awareness, 92 carrying, 61 catching, 84 run blocking, 88 lead blocking, and 92 impact blocking. The, the beauty of this card is the speed and the blocking because on pitches, he's going to lay people out. On, kick, on scum kicks, he's going to return the kicks with good speed. He's going to be able to truck. He's going to be able to block, lay people out on pitches. I love this card overall. I think that this Christian Okoye card it was a Nigerian nightmare. It just came to me. Wide receiver, guys. I don't know. This, this, this one was tough. I have a few guys in mind. Now, I did just pick up quite a monster. I'm going to have to put... 
See, I don't want. I have to do my price, but it's got to be Randy Moss. Although Randy Moss isn't the price of the price range guy that you really want to see, guys, you can't you can't argue with him. Powered up and chemmed up, he's going to be one of the fastest receivers. Six foot four, can catch, can run, can make, can do, he can do everything. This guy's a monster. Now, a guy that I really like that I just picked up. This Tyree kill card is looking pretty nasty, guys. I have him kept up and powered up for my team to like a 93, 94 overall. He has like a 96 speed. He has, oh, it's, it's, it's ridiculous the stuff he has. Trust me, powered up and kept up all the way. He is an insane card. I highly recommend you guys take a look at him. He's obviously quite expensive right now, but these are the two guys I'm rocking with. I'm rocking on my team, Randy Moss, Tory Holt, and Tyree Kill. Obviously, I'm not using the full Randy Moss. The powered up gets the job done for me. Now, tight end, guys, quite honestly, I still think the best tight end is George Kittle. But not the full one. You don't have to get this one. Oh, by the way, Gronkowski's pretty cheap. Honorable mention. He's not. He's pretty cheap. Although I don't think I spent 750k on him. This George Kittle right here. You don't have to get this one. The one I have does the job, guys. 90 overall tight end George Kittle. He has 83 speed, 90 catching, and 83 run block. That's all I care about. And his route running is above 80, so he can make the right. He can run the routes. Guys, this card is awesome. I'm telling you, I highly recommend him. That's all I care about. He run blocks for me really great. He's like an extra lineman, and he has speed. So when he's in open space, he can take it because. The way I play with my tight end, that's exactly what I need from him. I still think this 90 George Kittle doesn't cost anything at all. It's just like a power pass, a little bit of training. Not bad at all. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth on linemen, guys. It's, it's linemen. Left tackle, I'm going to be honest with you guys. You don't want to spend all that money on Joe Thomas. Left tackle, make it simple. Go Anthony Munoz. Anthony Munoz is the most well-rounded left, he's left tackle. He's 170. You can him up, power him up. He's going to have most of the thresholds for pass and run blocking. Left guard, again... There are some better ones than the one I use, but the one I personally use for the price price benefit ratio is Bruce Matthews. Gets the job done all around again. Obviously, Gene Upshaw is better, but he's a little bit pricier. And then at center, the center, I have a guy. Oh, I have a guy, all right. This guy is a monster. I'm just gonna compare real quick so you can see. Travis Frederick, 93 overall center, powered up. Guys, monster card, and he was free for me from the house rules. So guys, I highly recommend you do it. 90 strength, 95 awareness, 88 pass block, 88 pass block power, 84 pass block finesse. The pass block's great. Then he has his run block. And on my team with all my chems and stuff, he looks like an absolute monster, guys. He makes lanes for my running game. I'm telling you, that's the card you guys are going to have. Now we come over to right guard. And at right guard, again, guys, David DeCastro is going to be my pick. He's a monster, guys. He can do it all. Powered up and chemmed up all above 90 overall stats. Literally almost everything's above 90 overall. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong. Again, I'm going fast through linemen because they're linemen. We don't want to waste all our time on the linemen. And a right tackle, actually. Right tackle is the one that I've been confused with. Uh, personally, I don't like any of them. Obviously, Dan Diedorf's the best one. That's one I have to put here, but I don't really recommend him because he's too expensive. And then uh, all the other right tackles really just aren't that great. Ryan Ramzik is great, but he's going to be crazy expensive now. I wish I would have picked him up earlier for 370. Either Ramzik or Diedorf, your choice there. But again, I'm waiting for a new right tackle like with the Thanksgiving promo. But guys, all right, guys, so next on the list, this left down spot was kind of hard, right? I want to go Ed Tuttle Jones, but everyone's telling me that he's not the best. Fix my sweatshirt. There's a little off. All right. So everyone's telling me that Ed Tuttle Jones can't get the chemistries or the abilities that you want on them, which I can't verify that because I don't have him. But base stats, Reggie White, still a solid, solid price option for any team. He has when you power up or even just put a cam on him with above 90 play rec, above 90 block shot, above 90 power move, above 90 strength, 83 acceleration, and could get close to 90 tackle. That's almost all threshold for 120k. Guys, Reggie White is still a monster in this game. You can't go wrong with Reggie White. Just letting you guys know that right now. You can still rock with Reggie White, no problem. I think he's one of the best players to be taken at that position. Next, at right end. Guys, I mean, there's a lot of options here. But I gotta go with, not Nick Bosa, I gotta go with Aaron Donald. Now, you don't have to power him up. I mean, you don't have to get his full card. You could power him up. I have him as a 90. No powered up, all the way, only, only to the second spot. He gets above 90 strength, above 90 play rec. He'll have an above 90 block shot with the right cams and above 90 power move. All I really want is one pass rush move above 90, block shot above 90, play rec above 90. And he has above 90 strength and decent athleticism. I think he's one of the best guys. He's not too expensive. You can use a power pass on him, a little bit of training. And then when the time comes with the right price for the reduction, you pick up his better card, which is 93, which and then would be the best card in the game for right ends. And like, obviously I don't want to promote him as the guy to take here because if I promote him as the guy to take, it'd be too expensive. But obviously once you get him to this point he's going to be an absolute monster I and mean, as you can see his doesn't look too far off from the card i just showed you guys i'm just saying highly recommend you guys scoop that card up now defensive tackle tough one i have a lot of guys that i like but i guess you got to go with john henderson right card overall is a beast not many defensive tackles have 
an above 90 um, pass rush move when you power him up, and above 90 block shot, and above 90 power play rack, and above 90 tackle, and above 90 strength. And he gets all of those, so he's a monster. He's kind of like a really unathletic end at defensive tackle, which is very hard to come by right now with the way Madden plays or the way they've been releasing content. So I'm very happy about him. I want to scoop him up, I just haven't had the time yet. Or I haven't had the. I, I want to construct my team properly. And outside linebacker, yeah, Brendan Scarlett's not the move. He is super cheap for an LTD, though. And outside linebacker, guys, I mean, it's tough, right? Because that outside linebacker for left, the way I run my team, I have the right outside blitzing in or rushing, and I have my left outside in coverage. So if you have him as a coverage guy, I don't know. If you have him as a coverage guy, I was thinking, right? Jamie Collins wouldn't be horrible if you have him as a coverage guy because he does have decent coverage stats. Not in the sense that, like, he has some insane zone, but it's 80 with a decent speed, with decent play rec. But if you're going to pass rush him, then the move is still to use this Von Miller. The Von Miller as a pass rusher is still always going to be the move. And like I said, if it's either going to be Von Miller, and if you don't like him as a coverage guy, you could go like Jamie Collins, maybe one of these guys. But I don't really recommend them. I kind of like the way I recommend Von Miller. But again, it doesn't even work for me. So I got to make that change soon too. At middle linebacker, guys, middle linebacker is weird because we get so many free players this year. So first and foremost, if you want to save your coins, go Shazier and Devin White. Devin White from the Gauntlet Solos, 89, Beast. And then free Ryan Shazier 93 is your team captain. But if you're going to buy, like I did, you got to go. There's only one guy. Guys, I shouldn't have looked up 94. Is he 94? No, I think it's 93. Ray Lewis, one of my favorite players of all time. I had to get him. I'm a big Ray Lewis fan, and his stats are insane. I'm going to show you guys what he looks like powered up because I do have him. He's not that expensive either. And if you look at my team real quick, obviously with all the cams and stuff, he's even better. But he has 88 speed, 88 excel, 88 strength. That's one of the best athletic linebackers in the game. 93 tackle, 93 play rec, 90 block shot, 93 power move. He can, I mean, uh, hit power. He can hit like a truck. He can block shot like a defensive end. He can recognize plays. He can hit, he can tackle. He's strong, he's fast, he's tall. Guys, Ray Lewis is a monster all around. You don't even have to use him. You can just leave him in space. He'll do his thing. He'll stuff the run, guys. I love this Ray Lewis. I recommend you pick him up. And if not, you always got Shazier and Devin White to fall back on. Now, outside linebacker. Guys, this is easy. This is a simple one. It's always going to be the same guy every time. The greatest defensive player of all time. The best giant of all time. Lawrence Taylor, he's a hundred and I believe 64k as it seems right here. Guys, this card you can't go wrong. And his next card is going to be great. His next card is going to be amazing. Right now, he has top athleticism with above 90 power move, with close 90 power block shed. Everything's above an 85, pretty much. Minimum. And he has crazy speed outside linebacker. Plus, really good abilities. Once he gets his next card, which should be around Thanksgiving, I believe, gonna be a monster, guys. Get him now while you still can for this price. Get his power up, power him all the way up. You can't go wrong with Lawrence Taylor. He's an end game card. Scoop them up now. Now, cornerback, there's a few guys. Quite a few guys here. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to list three of them. So, one of the guys is going to be Patrick Peterson as one of the optionals. Patrick Peterson, you can't go wrong with him. Powered up, he's going to have above 90 speed, above 90 excel, above 90 agility, above 90 jumping. And then with lockdown cam, with the power-ups, he's going to have above 90 play rec, above 90 man, above 90 zone, above 90 press. This card is an absolute freaking monster. Jalen Ramsey, another guy. Powered up and chemmed up, above 90. Uh, he's going to have... If you have a shaker on him, but no, he's going to have an 89 speed, 89 excel, above 90 jump, above 90 play rec, above 90 man, above 90 zone, and above 90 press. Going to, he's a monster. Now, for me personally, the other two guys that are on there, I'm going to actually be four. It's going to be Deion Sanders and Denzel Ward. Those are the four guys. Like, I think they're interchangeable. Get at least two of them. Denzel Ward and then Deion Sanders. Now, Deion Sanders, obviously, I have him all the way. This one's a lot crazier. You can always get his power up one, though. His power up one works, does wonders, guys, I promise you. His 90 power up. I've had him for literally since he came out. I just upgraded him now. That card's great too. And then Denzel Ward, obviously, because he does get a 93 speed with really great stats. Now, if I had to, if I had to rank him, obviously, I go Dion first. I don't know, maybe Dion, then Dion, Jalen, Pat Pete. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Pat Pete's ahead of Jalen. Maybe Dion, Pat Pete, Jalen, Denzel Ward. I don't know. It's, it all depends. You like speed. You like every threshold. You play a lot of different defenses. So if you're going to play different defenses, Jalen Ramsey is all around the best guy, probably. One, one of the best guys. He can play in the run defense. He can play in the deep. He can play in the zone. The man, he can play everything. You know, obviously, Denzel Ward has deficiencies in his zone and certain things. So it really depends on the way you like to play your defense, obviously. Now, free safety, guys. Still a budgety option. Still very cheap. Not budgety. I shouldn't say that. But Brian Dawkins for 250K. To get the stats that he gets is unreal for the price point. Powered up, he has above 90 hit power, above 90 zone, above 90 pursuit with chems, above 90 play rec, and he's gonna have an 88 speed. You, and six foot, six feet tall. You don't get those kind of stats and coverage and all that stuff for that price point. Trust me guys, Brian Dawkins is a monster. You could just rock with him for now until they release like maybe a Sean Taylor if they do end up releasing him. Although someone told me they're not going to, I don't know how factual that is. 
And guys, do I have enough to speak about strong safety? Just get your Pat Tillman up. It is free. It just takes your time. Go get Pat Tillman up as far as you can. Plenty of ways to grind out solos. And just kill time on there and get these power-ups, guys. Pat Tillman. And then for kicker. Uh, I don't really like, I don't really care about kicker, but you guys seem to care a lot about kicker, so I'm gonna go do this real quick. I'm gonna go with Justin Tucker, obviously the beast. I just picked him up. 90 kick power, 90 kick accuracy, and he can get focus kicker, which is really important to not miss kicks. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know how long this is. This was in two parts, so probably a little bit long. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the whole video. If you did watch the end, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, guys. I appreciate all of you who show support every day and come and like the video. So thank you for that. Make sure to comment down below anything you guys have feedback on. Make sure to give this and make sure to subscribe to the channel, boys. Come join the family. Turn on that noti bell. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.